What's up guys, it's Nikon and welcome back to the Interactive Build Order Guide for Age of Empires 2. In the videos in this guide, I'm using the Interactive Build Order Scenarios created by Cicero on Age of Empires HD on Steam. The guide is also available on Vubli if you'd like to play it over there. If you'd like to try them out for yourself and see if you can beat my final grade, I've added the links to both the Steam and Vubli versions in the description down below. If you're unsure of how to access these scenarios in-game, just leave a comment or DM me on Discord or Twitter, links to those are in the description as well. And then I'll do a little video doing just showing how to access those guides on either Age of Empires HD or Age of Empires on Vubli. After watching this build order, also make sure to click on the little YouTube card on the top right of the screen to go and check out the other videos in this guide as well. This guide is not suitable for absolute beginners and is aimed at more intermediate level players that already have a firm grasp on the basic mechanics of the game. If you're completely new to Age of Empires Online Multiplayer and you would like me to do a few videos covering the basics that you need to know before tackling this guide, then feel free to mention that in the comments down below or DM me on Discord or Twitter and I will most likely do a little video series covering that as well. Alright guys, that's enough of me, let's jump into this build order. This week we'll be doing Fast Castle, last week we did Fast Castle into Knights, now we will be doing Fast Castle into un and Unique Units. This is if you're in a civilization, like for example the Spanish is a very good example, where your Unique Unit is extremely overpowered in Castle Age, then you will do this kind of build order and let's jump into it. <laughs> So just the quick basics is you need to click feudal with 28 pop including loom you need to click castle then with 30 pop and then you need to build a castle and you also have to have bow saw and horse collar so let's go this is a walkthrough for a fast castle into a unique unit your first benchmark will be to click feudal with 28 pop Your first six villagers should gather sheep. Always. Oh, that that was not good. <clears throat> so, like I've said before in the other videos as well, the map generation on these scenarios are exactly the same every time you play it. That's just to make you to make it easy for you to learn the build order instead of having to concentrate on scouting and everything else as well. And also the AI that you're up against does not now well, send it does the next nothing. four villages to wood. So I like using that wood line over there for my my first wood. <laughs> Like putting my first lumber camp over on that side, and then okay, I have all my sheep now, so that's fine. Almost, almost let my town center go idle now. That is what you lose marks for the most on this scenario is town center idle time. So you need to avoid, well, in the scenario and in game as well, you need to avoid having your town center go idle at all. So your town center should always be doing something. So that's the fourth one. Going to wood now. Now send the next villager to Leo the Boar. Then add one more villager to sheep. Okay, I'll send one to boar so long beforehand. And then add two to sheep after that. Uh, my boar lure is going to be a little late. That's enough. Now send the next four villagers to berries. No, no, no. Shit. That was that was a mistake. Yeah. 
That was that was an extreme misclick. That was very unfortunate. At least my villager didn't die, so that's good at least. So yeah. Remember to send a villager out to leave the second yep, on ball. My way. I know my second ball is over there. I didn't scout it, but I know it's there. Now send the next two villagers to ball. Where is it? What the hell? Where did the ball go? Oh, there we go. I just want to be on the safe side of it. So I don't have room yet, and there is a hill that I need to run down. Also, move two villagers from ball to build farms. Move that one slow. I use my Indian villagers for that. Now send more villagers to wood until you have nine villagers split between two lumber camps. So send one more to us. I'll, I'll, what I do is I send one more to that lumber camp and then I'll build a, build a lumber camp on this side with four villagers. Send one over there and this next four villagers will come this way. Let's pull the house Banana along to make sure I don't get housed. Make it two Banana houses. Banana. Then I'll be sorted for houses. Actually, I don't need two houses. So I'm right. Just need one house. Banana. Banana. Village back to work. Make sure we have no idle villages. So that'll be two more to wood to this wood line over here. Four of you can go into that sheep. Send another sheep under the town center. Pretty, pretty soon she'll tell us to that we can add more sheep, I mean, add more farms from the villages. Now send the next two villages to gold. Also start moving villages to farms from sheep. Okay, somehow I don't have enough wood. Don't know why. Oh. Now send the last two villages to stone. Alright, so now the last two to stone. Because remember, we want to get our unique unit, which means we need to get a castle up. With this build, you will be able to build a castle as soon as you hit castle edge. Basically, immediately when you hit castle edge, you will be able to build a castle. Now make sure you research loom before oh, clicking feudal time. with that 28 pop. As the sheep run out, move villages to farms until you have about 8 farms. The remaining 2 villages should go to stone. So two of these will go to stone. Oh yeah, I still have an A plus for my feudal time, so that's 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 pretty decent. I'm happy with that. So when the sheep runs out, then these two will make farms and these two will go to stone. He's waiting for the sheep to run out. That's yeah, good enough. These two can make farms. For this build, you should have enough gold and food. Once you created two villages in the feudal age, 
you will have enough gold and food to go up to Castle Age immediately. So she will say that but once you hit Feudal Age you then just build a market with two villagers and a blacksmith with one villager. Um, you will have enough wood for that and then you can immediately click up once those two villagers are out. because I want to use this one to build a market over here. Now build a market and a blacksmith and send the next two villages to stone. You should then be able to click up to castle. Right, so sending two villages to stone, my market is being built, my blacksmith is being built. village out to stone another one to stone they have the gold for castle age i have already and pretty soon there we go i have the food for castle age as well so as soon as this village is out i can just come on build the market finished now research both double bit axe and oh, horse my, collar my a plus went down to an a only which i'm actually upset with So the first time through the, that I did this build through, I actually got an A plus, A plus for my final score, which I now will not get, which is very unfortunate. And as soon as you, with this build, as soon as you hit castle edge, you will have enough stone for a castle and in some cases you will even have enough stone for a second um, town center as well so you'll have about 750 760 stone after this build i don't have horse color you get the horse color and as soon as you hit castle age you need to get oso and put down a castle with these villages What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to send any new villages I create once I hit castle age. I'm going to send them to help with the castle. Now build a castle using all the villages from stone and also research Bosaw. Let's do that. We're researching Bosaw is going and we are now building a castle. Let's send more villagers there to make sure the castle goes up quicker. I'm gonna make that castle go up as quick as possible to see if I can still get my A plus score. <clears throat> Since I had A plus for my feudal time. So let's see. So with this build you can have a castle up, the final score of 8. I had a castle built at 1730 which is a decent time to reach castle age but I even had my first castle built by 1730. Yeah guys that's it for this video. If you like this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button at the bottom and if you disliked it for some reason make sure to hit the thumbs down button and also let me know what it is that you liked or didn't like about the video. Should you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I always reply to all my comments and I'm looking forward to actually reading what you guys have to say about this. Also, obviously you try this build order, make sure to leave your grade, final grade that you got in the comments down below to see who got the best grade. If anyone's able to get an A plus in this. As always, I spend the first hour after the upload of every single video in the comment section down below to reply live to any comments that there might be. Last but not least, if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also tick the little bell icon next to it to make sure you're not notified of all my videos when they go live. So until next time, happy gaming!